is that the mission? Yeah, that's the mission. Yeah, I don't see any strongholds on the map. So. Oh, wait, no. Right. Let's find a car and I'll meet you by the mission point. Right. Just bring in the used pregnancy test applicator showing that she's pregnant and you get half off the ring. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. You know, I guess this won't be so bad after all. Well, I wouldn't. Well, the best that. car I could have picked, but whatever. It got me here. In a surprising turn of events, <clears throat> several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their client's freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? <coughs> uh, Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. <laughs> but the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack. Yes, I gotta stop this. Destroy three prison buses before the... I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. Because <laughs> I've got I've got ammo for this. I a grenade. <laughs> that just didn't work. Attacking me. Well, oh, and then the civilians drove into me. What? <sighs> Get out of the way. And a forgive and forget. Let's 
the hell? Oh, this car's totaled. That's on rubbish. Tell me here. No, I want. Uh... It keeps changing my uh, waypoint. Which is not helping. Forgive and forget. Right, car stuck. Um. How do I? Oh, ammo. Oh no. Get out the... Oh, this is good. Cops are causing more of a problem now. See ya. That better be it. Bloody hell. Mr. 
Mr. Vogel, Mr. <laughs> See you. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Mero. You think this is fucking funny? <laughs> no, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. <laughs> I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again, and I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too, but I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero, don't worry about your little shipment. Altor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Altor security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. You can go now. That boat is never gonna make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero. I'm back. Ah, right. Well, I'm all the way over here. Uh. Aha, it's there. Mission. It's weird, I've not got any strongholds. Uh. So there. Oh, well. oh, this is a bit of a drive, right? I'll, uh, you know the drill. Radio. Whoop. Took a bit longer than necessary, but whatever. <clears throat> Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. <laughs> this gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing ski ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play ski ball. Fuck it. So you hit the docks like I asked. Wait, what? Off the feed dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks and you said. Look, I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Mero need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know. Maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Mero, not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? Check it out. I got some more dirt on the shipment. Right, one sec, I've got another call. What's up? Okay, I just got some more info on Mero's shipment. I'm listening. Mero's bought enough guns to take over something that needs a lot of guns to take over. The point is that if you get to the cargo hold, you should find some nice toys to play with. I knew I could count on you. Bye, boss. Still waters never Mero's got a shit ton of ammo stashed in the. Tell me something I don't know. Shandy, fill me in. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the one who told Shandy about it. Now quit trying to take Shandy's shine. We're all on the same team. We'll talk about this later. 